and Nicola. I run the West Yorkshire Spinning Library in Leeds and we're going to have a look at putting the Beko Gemini on in a parallel strapped configuration, also known as rucksack or H shape. Now there's a couple of different ways to put your Beko Gemini carrier on and the way that most people learn to start with is a big X, a big crossover on your back. Um, however, there is another way, so we're going to have a look at that today. There are reasons you might choose the H shape. It keeps the long dangly ends from the floor. It can be a useful configuration for carrying toddlers, and it's always going to be the configuration that you use when the baby's on your back, so it's always worth knowing. The first thing that we're going to do is configure the straps into the position that we'd like. So I'm going to clip the, the strap onto the body panel on the same side, so it makes two large loops. So we have one big loop on one side, just there, I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side, finding the corresponding buckle, placing it through the safety elastic on the side protectors and clicking it into place. Once we have our carrier configured into the two large loops like this, we're going to just take a look at the connecting strap which will connect on your back. Now it's important to know that it will move up and down on its runners. You can place it at a position that feels good for you. You can also change the length of the strap. So if it's too wide, it might feel like it's going to fall off your shoulders. It won't, but it might feel that way. If it's too short, it can bring the straps too close to your neck, which isn't always comfortable. If you're not sure, try just holding the carrier up to your shoulders and pulling that strap taut, nice and done up. And it should look like it'd be the right width for you, approximately. One last thing we're going to check before we pick up a baby to put them in the carrier is that we're able to pull the carrier by tightening forward. Now that's another reason that people might enjoy using the H shape or a parallel strap shape as opposed to the X. Sometimes it's easier to tighten by pulling forwards. So we're going to have a look at these straps just here. We're going to make sure that there is slack in the webbing on the strap end just here. So if the carrier is all the way into the end and there's no strap there, I will struggle to find it to pull. So I'm gonna make sure that there is spare in the strap end of the strap. How are we gonna find a baby? Now we're looking at carrying an older baby or a toddler at the moment. So we've got our carrier on its widest setting so onto the outer poppers and I've got my carrier reasonably low on my torso so I can maximise the height of the body panel. First thing that I do is I sit my baby up and around me and allow them to bring their knees up and wrap them around my body before scooping the carrier up onto my back. That's it. I'm going to grab hold of that big loop and place my arm inside putting it nice and safe on my shoulder and swapping hands on the child do exactly the same thing on the other side. Now because I've got these loops, they're holding the child in place 90% of the way and we're just going to raise our arms up behind the head, find these two pieces of the strap that we adjusted before, click it together behind the head. Now because that raises is quite high on my back, I'm going to find the dangly ends, the bits that we made sure were there before we placed the carrier on, and we're going to pull those down towards the floor to start with. Now they won't move or tighten at that point, but what they will do is move that strap down your back to a nice comfortable position, and then as I put hold of these, I'm going to pull forward. And you can hear the carrier tightening up, and that's what takes baby's weight round your middle and wraps it around your torso. So that's the Beko Gemini with the H shaped straps, the parallel straps. When we're coming out of the carrier, you can just reach your hand up behind your back and unclip that one. But if you can't reach, like I can't, you can loosen your carrier just a little under your arm by placing your thumb at the edge of the strap just there. Same thing on the other side, just loosen it back. That will give you enough space to move the carrier up behind your head. Unclip just one buckle, bring the loops down, one on either side holding on to the child and that's why it's useful for toddlers and older babies because then you can pop them down the floor, off they run and you are left with nothing that hits the floor, nothing that can trip you up and a really nice tip for running around after mobile babies and toddlers is to take your chest strap at this point, click it back behind you and you have what essentially looks like a little bum bag and your carrier is there ready to put on the next time you need to use it.